When I got out of school, my mama packed my bag for me and took me to Memphis and gave me $50 and a ham sandwich, kissed me goodbye, and set me free. I was the first white artist signed to Stax's hip label. That was a pop label. They were trying to get in on the British invasion. Delaney and Bonnie came to hear me play and asked me if I wanted to go to California. I was gone two days later. When it was over for me with Delaney and Bonnie, I really didn't know what to do. I didn't want to go back to Memphis. But I did call my friend Steve Cropper and get his advice. He said, why don't you call uh, Eric? Eric said, Come on over. So I was going to go hang with Eric for just a couple of weeks. Turns out we started writing. The phone rang one day and it was George Harrison. And he asked Eric if uh, we'd put a band together and, and do his first record with him. Derek and the Dominoes was formed during the recording of All Things Must Pass. The Dominoes, our last session, had just imploded and I uh, had the studio time. I, saw. I said, I'm not going to let this go to waste. So when the Dominoes uh, thing uh, did not happen, I, I just went ahead on and recorded what was turned out to be my first record, Bobby Whitlock, Bobby Whitlock. That night, I called everybody. First person I called was Eric. He said, count me in. And I called George, and he said, you can count me in. Everybody I called, they said, yeah, okay. Quite an experience uh, recording, having George Harrison three feet in front of me, looking at me straight in my eyes the whole time we're, we're singing and playing. Eric sitting to George's left, about three feet back, all of us playing at once. When the Rolling Stones were recording "Exile on Main Street," I got a call from my friend Bobby Keys to come over and hang with for a little while. Jimmy Miller wanted to talk to me. He was their producer. He wound up uh, being my producer. We took the first record that I had done to ABC Dunhill. They wanted us to record right away, and we went back in and had Rick Vito on guitar, Don Poncho on drums. Keith Ellis, the bass player with Juicy Lucy, and he became my bass player. With Jimmy producing, Joe Zagarino engineering, and we recorded this great record, Raw Velvet, and full creative control. One side was rock and roll, that was the raw side. Flip side was all love songs, that was the velvet side. It was a limited release, it was only in America and in Great Britain, and only just for a very short time, and they just pretty much went into obscurity. Now they're more important than ever, because it's the last and only document with these great musicians on it. Nobody's ever heard this stuff. Eric Clapton, George Harrison, Delaney and Bonnie, Bobby Keys, Jim Price, Jim Keltner, Jerry McGee. My goodness, pretty incredible. Oh, I've, I've been a really, real fortunate man. I've, I've had a, a wonderful career, a wonderful life.